It comes from, from oppression. It comes from slavery. It comes from migration. It comes, Song Harucho comes from poverty, from not having privilege, <laughs> from having the need of expression. My name is Cesar Castro. I'm from Veracruz, Mexico. I grew up there listening to different type of music, but Song Harocho was the one that just got deeper in me. And that was at the age of 13. At the age of 27, 28, I moved to Los Angeles and I live right now in El Sereno. I had this tradition on me and I felt that I could, I could try. Uh, I was traveling before with Mono Blanco, Grupo Mono Blanco, and that's how I learned to, to just not be afraid of, of moving around and exposing your art to other people. And by doing that, we met different people in the world. Once I felt embraced by the community, they made me feel that I was carrying an information that they really wanted to, to learn from. I was sharing it. So I, I was looking for spaces to create that process, to have it. At the same time, I was settling myself in this new country, new society, new economy, everything. So I was making instruments uh, for a living as well. Also keeping the prices affordable because that's what I learned from Veracruz, from Gilberto. Son Jarocho is more than notes, it's more than chords, it's more than one technique, rhythm. It's how you live, how you drive your life. That's another thing that Son Jarocho with the Fandango spirit that, that I can offer in every session. Every media that we can take advantage in order to, to, to pass on the information or to keep it in archives, that's, that's important to me. Yes, I'm encouraging people to, to go beyond that. You can take classes online. I do it. I have a podcast, I have videos, but those are to support well, your, your learning process. If you are able to create some jarocho, recreate some jarocho in one by one, in small groups, then when you go to a fandango, you have that capacity, that social skill, no more than the musical. The musical is going to follow because once you want to have a deeper conversation, you look for the words or you learn the words from the other one. But if you don't want to have a deeper conversation, you won't pay attention. You just hear that chattering, but you don't hear the conversation and you don't know how to, how to add, how to participate. And you bond with other people in a different level, more than being playing next to each other. And then you'll see how that transfers to your music, because Son Jarocho is about interacting. If I can hold a conversation with you, if we can have jokes and have a good time, then most likely is that we can get our instruments and we can play and feel something similar. Know, we can feel good, we're connecting. Teaching in prisons, I started uh, four, years, four years ago, invited by ACTA, Alliance for California Traditional Arts, with a program called Arts in Corrections. I'll be doing it as much as I can because it's, it's a work that I believe and look, when I was in Veracruz at the age of 13 and I was learning the Son Jarocho, I think Son Jarocho saved my life somehow. It took me out from doing stupid things on the streets with my friends. Every time I'm in a session with someone teaching the music and they find themselves in a positive wave you know, and, and being able to feel better about, the, about themselves and especially in prison when they say, hey, this takes me out of the, of the BS happening in the, in the yard. I'm happy with your words now, no? it made my day because that's what I want people to feel, you know? the same extra benefit of practicing a, a beautiful music and genre. It's, it's something that, it's my donation, my, my, this is my, my ¿cómo dicen? aportación al, uh, to, to, the, to the San Jarocho community, to the tradition, of course.